Fascinating. Mm. <clears throat> Greetings and welcome to Channel 7 Horizon Online News. It's March 18, and I'm Edmund Griddles, tanned and toned thanks to spending my spring break out on the beach, sunning myself and doing crunches from sunup to sundown, and then attending beach parties all night, frequently taking a break to catch groups of dolphins with my bare hands so that partygoers and I could ride off into the surf in search of buried treasure and pirates. I've also learned to lie a lot better. The insurance giant AIG, or AIG, as it is also known, hastily paid out $165 million in executive bonuses to meet a deadline on Sunday, incurring the wrath of just about everybody, since AIG is a recipient of over $170 billion in government bailout support. AIG chairman Edward Liddy explained that the bonuses were a product of bonus arrangements made in early 2008, and that AIG's hands are tied. Of course, this has done little to ease the minds of people like President Obama, who has called the ordeal an outrage, as well as vowing to pursue every single legal avenue to block these bonuses and make the American taxpayers whole. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley went one better and suggested that AG executives should follow the Japanese example and come before the American people and take that deep bow and say, I'm sorry, and then do either one of two things, resign or go commit suicide. Seriously. Well, not as brutal, a recent CBS poll showed that 75% of Americans think that the U.S.'s bank's current problems are mainly caused by management decisions, while 17% thought the blame rested on conditions beyond the company's control. The last 8%, while not listed, blamed badgers. Last Sunday, Space Shuttle Discovery launched off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, set to install the last set of solar arrays on an orbiting laboratory complex, as well as trade out one of the station's members. The launch had previously been halted after a hydrogen leak was detected on a line connecting ground support equipment to an external tank, which is apparently something horrible. After the final inspection revealed nothing more exciting than a sleeping bat on the outside of the tank, the shuttle was cleared for liftoff, allowing for oodles of pictures like this to be taken as well as an excuse for people all over the world to make rocket noises for a short period of time. Thanks to a new policy that started Monday, some labels on foods like fresh meats, fruits, vegetables, and nuts will now list where the product originated. The rules are a victory for many food safety groups, who claim that the policy will make it easier for consumers to know if their food is imported or not. Some meat labels are planned to go even beyond this policy and list where the animal was born, raised, and slaughtered. Unfortunately, additional labels like the animal's name, as well as its favorite color and musical artist, did not make it into the final policy. And now for your local weather. Hello and welcome to the weather. Most of you have spent the past week on spring break where you were, you know, around the coast here or in the little Florida place here and in your various homes while I spent mine in Greenland, the motherland. <laughs> and now back to our ethnocentric weather map where it's time for our three day, five day weather forecast. Yeah. This time it's going to be more spring breakish than spring breakish was spring breakish. And there's going to be sun and fun and we'll run because it's fun to run in the sun. Bye. And now a shameless plug from the Heston College Theater Department. The end of the year is coming and with it are the student directed one acts. The actor's nightmare directed by yours truly We'll be having auditions next Monday and Tuesday night, so be there. And now for a bit more local news, we have birthdays. Happy birthday today to Joel Porter Jr., tomorrow to Nesredin Owl and Cassie Steiner. On Friday, happy birthday to Krista Breyer. On Saturday, happy birthday to Derek Eversoll, Travis Eversoll, and Alyssa Hostetler. And Sunday, happy birthday to Kendall Landis and Elizabeth Tokenbow. Also, tonight is campus worship, featuring our church leaders and residents, Les and Gwen, so be sure to make it out. Or else.
Tonight is also the night where you can get a free donut at Drubers from 11.30 until midnight just by heading over to Drubers and shaking Les and Gwen's hand. Fist pounding will earn you donut holes, high fiving will get you a buttermilk crawler, and jumping chest bump will get you thrown out into the street. Also, CAB, Academics, and Campus Ministries are co-hosting a barn dance Thursday night at 8 o'clock at Dean and Sondra Leatherman's in rural Heston. If you'd like to go see this dancing barn thing, go down Lincoln Street like you're heading to the interstate, go beyond the interstate, turning left at the first road, Hoover, and the Leatherman's barn is about a quarter mile down Hoover on the left. What? Are you serious? You mean they dance in the barn instead of... But, but what are the... Can you do that? And that's all we have for Channel 7 Horizon Online News. Until next time, keep passing all your classes and stay away from ill-tempered animals.